once again, and welcome to the spooky episode of I Have Notes. Whoa, a show where people with a spookily long IMDb list talk about all things creative, animation, and spooky. With me always is my co-ghoul, Issa Badiola. 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 Well, that sounds like booty when I say it. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. I like that. Thank you. That was a great intro. <laughs> that, I love that. That was really awesome, Kay. Yes. <laughs> you get an A plus for me. Yay. And Who's with us, Issa? Us is uh, our our lovely Aaron Wynn. Aaron Wynn. Now with brown hair. (laughs) Who is she? A normal person. (laughs) (laughs) And the spookiest of all, Sam Mitchell. (laughs) Not that spooky. I feel like y'all got fun names you can play with. Uh, Well, no, you came in costume, right? No, I mean it's just a cold, spooky so white I'm man. Like a sweater. <laughs> yeah, we are the scariest these days. That's fair. Yeah, you came as everything wrong in this world. Ooh. All right, I'm done. Yeah, you're like hippie Steve Jobs. Mm. Or more that, hippie, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Techno. Hey, it's a, uh, it's Halloween. We is don't you just love it when hang on let me double check this before I say it out loud okay. with my mouth. Um, don't you just love it when Halloween's on a Saturday? You can get um, out, you can party, you have all Sunday to recover. Oh yeah. And right. then but I'm gonna eat candy alone. Yeah. <laughs> How's everybody so, doing this week? Spooky For me, coronavirus. Well, I mean, eating candy alone is just literally every day this year. Um, That's true. So no yeah. it's not really special. Ooh, that... I, I do have a question. What is everyone's choice Halloween candy? Ooh. Reese's. Reese's for Sam. It was really a any answer. any peanut butter chocolate combo. I'm pretty stoked <laughs> about. I think it's right. Um, I, I know, can tell people... Sam that's some of the the biggest energy I've ever seen you have. Yeah. yeah. That, that <laughs> the little, second like, you talked Reese's about peanut, peanut butter, butter and chocolate. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like I was dog. like attacking <laughs> like his kung fu and small ghosts. Like hey, wait for my <laughs> peanut butter chocolate, but. I think a lot of people like are they're like I don't know like either you've got too much going on or you just got chocolate and like I need a combination I need a whole bunch like I need two things two solid platforms peanut butter chocolate sweet and savory mm-hmm. we're taking it to no, the bank it's that's fantastic. fair nice. it's great nice. uh, Issa can I can I not answer your question and instead kind of work on uh, my stand up routine with y'all okay. and, and workshop it and see if y'all have any notes okay Ooh, can we all do our type five. Um, hey, <laughs> I'll start it off. Let's go. Yeah, let's, uh, do it. let's get in here. Is, is this going to go long? <laughs> no, oh, should, should I hear Aaron's? Should I hear Aaron's candy? Let's do Aaron's first. Uh, right, yeah, oh, yeah. shit. I like all the candies, though. It's, right? easier, it's easier to say Sweet. what candies I don't like. Okay, uh, let's go Let's go there. Fucking, uh, is it Mike and Ike's? Any, anything okay. licorice? Disgusting. Uh, <laughs> licorice, I'm on board. Uh, no. Awful. Uh... Yeah, anything else I'll pretty much eat. Licorice, yeah, sugar. Licorice candy is like somebody made bad mint and then they tried to trick everybody into thinking it was a candy. It's like that's not how this works. Like licorice is not sweet. It's not. It's not a fucking candy. It doesn't belong in the realm. It's licorice is somebody failing upward. Yeah, yeah. Licorice, licorice is the white men of candy. There's like no doubt about this. It does not deserve to be where it is, but somehow no. it fucking got there. Like, and nobody has the guts to just say, "Get the fuck out." I'll be that yeah. person. Yeah. Get the fuck out, licorice. Yeah. Nobody likes licorice. you. All right, here's my tie five. Ready? <clears throat> okay, go go. I'm ready. Why do they call it fun sized, but they're small? It'd be fun if they were bigger. Yeah. Uh, that was amazing. Okay. Uh, uh, I I will gen- uh, genuinely uh, I it's like the only time of year I will eat like Milky Ways and like 
I don't know. I know like my normal go to candy yeah. bar is like a crunch bar or Kit Kat. Mm. I'm a big fan of chocolate wrapped in crunchy thing or wrapped around crunchy thing. Yes. Mm. Really? The crunchy center. Maybe. So I'm not I'm not a very uh, I don't go for the gooey bars as much. Like, mm. what, what's your, just what's the top three candy bars? You've hit up the gas station. What are we talking? Uh, Kit Kat is uh, at the top and yes. lives there with the crown. OK, true. Um, and I, I'm also honestly partial to the big cat. But uh, that's just me. Um, God, bold. Yeah. Bold. I don't bold. fuck around. I don't fuck around. Okay. For me, it's Kit Kat, Crunch Bar, and honestly, Milky Way. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I, those, Milky, are, those are me. Milky Way Dark. That's like the best one, in my opinion. I uh, would go I would go Hershey's with almonds. Okay. okay. I, was, I thought you were going to say regular bar. Hershey's, which should also be banished. It's disgusting. Hershey's is awful. Oh, that was number so, four for me. I got, I got. Uh, the, 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 what is it? Not the Oreos. Like the cookies and cream ones. Those are good. But mm-hmm. just a regular ass Hershey's bar. Hershey's gross. Chocolate. Yeah, gross. Awful. I, I got, so here on this like setup, A, I'm, I'm kind of with you, Aaron, because the dark chocolate Milky Way is, I think, a superior bar, right? Yes. Mm. But yep. I'm constantly mad at it. That they didn't call it just a less milky way, because like, that's <laughs> essentially what it is, right? Uh, in in in, oh, man, in you're carrying with you, the Kit Kat, the Kit Kat is big. Like I love a Kit Kat, and I love the big Kit Kat. Now, one of my favorite candy bars in the world is a Kit Kat chunky peanut butter from the UK. Whoa! Whoa! These boys Whoa. slap so fucking hard, right? These boys slap so <laughs> These hard. These boys. Last and last time I was in, I was in uh, the UK. I went. I was coming back from Ireland, right? I went there for a wedding, and it had been like a long. It was a long trip. I I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I went to go see the girlfriend's. Like her father owns a dairy farm, and then they were just like, "Ah, oh, we're gonna get super drunk." And I was like, "This is lit." And then they woke like we wake up at seven in the morning. They, like, we gotta move five hundred heifers. Come on. And I was like, what, what the fuck? Like, this isn't me. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm from Texas. I don't do cowboy shit. Anyway, so I got covered <laughs> no. cow shit and, like, had to move a bunch of cows through a city, like, a, like a small village in Cornwall. It was weird. Um, so anyways, I'm on the way home and I'm like, this has been a long trip. My girlfriend is staying with her family for a few days, so I'm alone. I'm like, I'm going to go get to the little thing in the airport and get some candy bars for this fucking flight because I'm going to yeah. just be a fat piece of shit on the plane, right? So one should be. I emotional get, support bar. I support. get my fucking boy Kit Kat chunky peanut butter. I also oh get one God. of my other favorite candies, just straight up peanut butter M and M's. I know I double down on the peanut butter, but it's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. You so definitely much. you. Oh my God. Sam's a dog. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Just give me those peanut. Kong yeah. things. Give me the Kong. I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. But you know, <laughs> so we're out here. We're, we're in the plane, and I'm sitting down. And I literally got it. I'm like, once we fucking take off, right? Mm-hmm. And then so they oh, started no. these jets, and then the lady comes on the thing. She's like, "Hey, uh, we got a young child in here with a severe peanut allergy. So if everybody for the entire flight could refrain from opening any peanut products, that'd be fantastic." I'm just like, "How much do I care about this young man's life? Like, cause this <laughs> chunky Kit Kat looking good right now." Oh my and of course, God. you know, I kept it fresh, but it was still like You're the a better most man fucking than I, Sam. Yeah. yeah, the whole fucking flight just staring at it like, I'm going to eat the shit out of you the second we get out of this fucking plane. Oh, sure enough, Sam. I did. It was delicious. Oh, I, that's I, so sad. I would have snuck into like the first class bathroom where I'm assuming this kid was not and and de- devoured that. <laughs> that what do you think people with peanut allergies are poor like no i'm just i don't okay i don't know fucking classes carry over here yeah that's fair <laughs> like peanut allergy children i assume Actually, i would go the other way because like i don't know i just feel like peanut allergy is probably like an inbred thing and rich people do that like some lannister shit a little bit more direct than what i was doing i assume <laughs> that if they didn't answer the whole plane that maybe it was more on the rest of it i don't know yeah i don't know but anyways that was my type five on candy that was much better than mine, wow. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> hey, uh I like the part with the cows. That was that was pretty good. It I was, have a candy bar question terrible, to find out uh if I'm a uh psychopath or not. Okay. Uh, that's what the show is now, is uh yeah. me just seeing like, <laughs> is this the thing I do weird? Um I'm excited. Oh, we should all do a Myers Briggs. That would be a good episode. <laughs> I, I, I know what mine is. <laughs> I was I was gonna say refrigerating candy bars. 
Oh, completely That's normal. Not, then, honey, yeah, honey, honey. like if you're saving it for later and you've already opened it, like you should be doing that. Yeah. That was part one. That's, oh shit. What's part two? The freezer. Yeah. Also valid. Good idea. That's, that's pretty normal. That's, that's pretty normal. Okay. I've never done it personally, but I can see the appeal. Yes. You've it's never all. done it? No. I mean, I've just never. It's always Yo. been in the fridge. It's always if, yeah. I buy can- if I buy candy bar, I put it in the freezer. Yeah, I think they're better that way. I think yeah, most I, candy bars. Some I wouldn't. I don't think I would agree with you on Kit Kat specifically. Oh, that's but like, oh. They there's but, a spot they, in my freezer for see, Kit Kats. Oh. I would think fridge Kit Kat. Yes, freezer yeah. no. I want um, my teeth to hurt. But Milky I, Way and Snickers, oh mm. yeah, freezer okay. them boys. I would. I I'm I'm actually more surprised that you guys aren't just outright saying that there would be no Kit Kats left because you would have eaten them by that point. This is true. Well, see what happens is I go to the grocery store, mm. and I think about that I'm trying to eat better, and that I'm dieting, and then I think, well, if I don't get myself a little treat then i'm <laughs> gonna go for big boy Carrie. If, I, if 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 big boy carry doesn't get his little treat then he's gonna drive to sonic <laughs> at 11 at night and get a sunday and that has more calories in it than just a little old kit kat so oh, i buy him Kit-Kat. bulk oh i see so that i'm always ready <laughs> and i buy uh, a pack of uh six uh kitted cats <laughs> and uh, I plan for it to last me two weeks, and it lasts me four days. <laughs> I I am constantly surprised at how similar we are on some things, Karen, because I'm pretty much there with you uh, identically. And yeah, except just it's a Dairy Queen that's closer to my house, so we'll get a blizzard. Totally but, fair. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. I mean, pretty much uh, the same thing in Reese's, obviously. But yeah. Uh, hey, you know what? I'm gonna admit something on this podcast, uh, Sam. Within the last week. I have used a delivery service to bring me a single DQ blizzard. Oh. Because oh, I was yeah. having a day. Oh. So yeah, not last Friday, Friday before last, I was doing that and then I felt somehow in my mind, I did the mental gymnastics that I was like, just ordering a blizzard is like a fat, sad piece of shit thing to do. So I need to order a whole meal. Oh so my god! So I gosh. ordered the blizzard and a burger and fries and ate all that shit and fucked it up, which was the fatter, shittier, sadder thing to do. And it was fucking awesome. Like, I don't regret it at all. It was so good. I had a tummy ache for like 12 hours. Loved every <laughs> fucking moment of it. Like, I feel like there's a gluttonistic part of me that's like, I I have a Pavlovian response to it, like a tummy ache from <laughs> oh eating too god. much garbage that makes me happy. There's like this trigger thing. It's like, oh, you are finally fucking full. Like this feeling Sam, of not we're wanting the same, to eat. We're, we're the same person. Yeah, uh, oh, it's so good. I, I love. That, I man. see. I see that. That's your deadly sin, then, Sam. It's gluttony. Gluttony. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If it could be gluttony, I would be into it more. <laughs> but yeah, I am, it's definitely like gluttony. destiny. I, no, like less gluttony. gluttony. It's. It's no, gone be... from the ages, like, when mm. I was 18, it was absolutely just lust, but the older I get, the more mm. I'm like, mm, spaghetti, like, <laughs> yeah. like, hey, here, one hey, day, here's maybe another way to look like, at it. noodles will overtake sex, so it'll be like, do you want to go oh, to okay. Olive Garden, or fuck, I'm like, hmm, <laughs> shit, like, why can't, it, why can't they both be lust, and now you're just attracted to spaghetti? Mm. <laughs> I'll take your silence as acceptance. I can fuck spaghetti, yeah. Yeah. Sam! F- physically and emotionally, <laughs> Sam is there. Yeah. I'm, no, I'm, here's the thing. I'm with you, though. Like, I, and this is probably why I'm overweight. Let's say in my hand, I've got a, uh, uh, not a sponsor, uh, Ritz Fresh Stack of Crackers. There's, that's pretty good. And I'm going to eat this, right? Mm-hmm. And I know that I'm going to eat this, and that's okay within whatever calorie intake I'm doing for that day. I would rather eat them like two at a time and feel like I own all of the crackers in the world for 30 seconds <laughs> than like no. eat like one at a time over the course of like 20 minutes. Because it is, there's, it is gluttony, right? Like you want that feeling of like yeah. more than enough. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah, I, yeah, I'm never yeah. going to want crackers again. I'm eating so many. You yeah, know? yep, 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 yep. <laughs> you guys. Food tastes different by the handful. Like it it's not, maybe it's not just taste difference. The dopamine is different, and that's what you're going mm-hmm. for. Yeah, because if I'm eating one cracker at a time, I'm holding myself back. If I'm letting yeah. me just if I'm just gobbling gobbling those discs, then it's like I can do whatever I want. 
Yeah, I'm yeah. the king right nope. now. Mm-hmm. And I did say crack I did say discs and not dicks. I, mean, I just want to be clear. To be fair, we both do look like the kings of Cracker Town, so that yeah. does help us. But yeah, just two two crackers and Cracker Town. Just two Cracker Kings, <laughs> Sam and Carrie. Carrie and Sam. I gotta my phone. <laughs> um, I like spe- that. Speaking of of Halloween, this is the spooky season. Uh, in some ways, this is one of the spookier Halloweens we've had uh, because of uh, the <laughs> yeah. virus potential. threat yeah. to yeah. going outside. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it, it, multiple things happening at once, in fact, <laughs> in different spheres. <laughs> Big oof. But we're not going to let that stop us from having a, a holly jolly Halloween. <laughs> what, what are, I believe this was, this was, this was Issa's recommendation. What are, what are everybody's favorite Halloween spooky medias? What do you spooky do to get you in that Halloween medias. mood? Ooh, spooky medias. Spooky yeah. medias. Yeah, anything. Movies, TV, uh, favorite decoration that you put up every year, um, thing that you love to yell at the kids as you throw candy at them. Um, Not going to happen this year, but yes. Well, yeah. now is even more of a reason to throw it. <laughs> to throw it, it's true. Yeah. I've heard so many people saying that they're just going to like chuck candy to the sidewalk. Like a t-shirt, a t-shirt, a yeah. t-shirt cannon, both candy. <laughs> yeah. Just blast those kids. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to individually sanitize and launch individual like Maltese at people. <laughs> um, <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, my favorite spooky memory with a spooky Ooh. medium spooky. was actually during Christmas. And I don't know if I like said this story on air or not, but there was one time where during a uh, every, every Christmas we spend it with my mom's side of the family in Jersey. Mm-hmm. And there was one Christmas I was really young. We were all watching like a much older family cousin, I think like uncle, this whatever, uh, family cousin play Fatal Frame 2. Uh, and yeah. we were in the basement and it was a group of like, like there's ten of us, and we're all in this like teen age. I I was I was mu- one of the babies, so much younger than everyone else. But it was like kind of teen, like older, young adult kind of a um, audience. And he was playing Fatal Frame two, and it was, it was a wild time. I think that was the one time I actually appreciated like a spooky game, be or a spooky thing being a group activity because uh, we That's all yelled. Yeah, we all yelled at the same time. Um, <laughs> It's kind of like a, I think one of the stories that we always talk about, uh, Aaron, is when you played PT yes. with mm-hmm. uh, the Rooster Teeth crew, like with the first like Halloween we had mm-hmm. at Rooster Teeth. Yeah, where it's like it was like sometime around then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, kind of that same like feeling of like oh community scares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm actually like kind of right there with you. I think the best Halloween because I'm not like super Halloween festive. Yeah. I don't like doing a dress up um, in like I, one of the best ones. It was pretty recent. It was right around when Haunting and Hill House came out, that uh, Netflix oh. show. Mm. And uh, a couple friends and I, we got together and we just like binged the whole thing, but we played spooky bingo the whole time. <laughs> and so we had bingo <laughs> that, that was bingo. like. That does sound Yeah, because it was just like, you know, tropes and stuff. It was like they ah. use a scared cat as a jump scare. Like, you know, mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm people get stabbed while having sex or something like that like the whole thing was like just like horror tropes bingo and so it was like really engaging and a group thing and super fun so i'm there with you also spooky lighting you can (gasps) oh that's very spooky and then that's about all that that's i'm out that was it (laughs) spooky lighting is pretty good I i like spooky lighting i am also not like a huge i'm a curmudgeon i'm like about holidays in general um Mm -hmm. I, I, I've told this story before. Like I, I had a, a similar like yeah, PT experience that will like forever, like just like stick in my mind. Honestly, uh, been playing a lot of like Phasmophobia, yep. and that oh. has easily become like my new favorite like horror thing. Uh, I'm thinking about playing it in VR on Halloween. Oh my no! god, I'm scared about. Um, I'm scared for you. I want to VR that game. It seems like I've played it now. I've played a handful with yeah. like the guys and stuff, and then some streams for it. And it's fun. I just don't really get the scariness because like it's also the graphics are shitty and people can like bend backwards all weird and stupid and stuff. And 
the experience is far too funny for me to be like scary. <laughs> no, uh, I definitely get that. I definitely but get I that. I think VR would like help kick it up a notch for sure. Yeah, there's there's almost something weird, like weirdly extra scary about it being in pre-alpha, because sometimes things just don't work the way they're supposed to. Yeah. And that's actually scarier because it's like you, you, you've like, you no longer have control over the situation. <laughs> and like that has made it worse. So I, that's, I know that's a super fun game for me, but I, uh, at this point, I think I'm going to celebrate Halloween more than I ever have because I need things nice. to be different around my house. So here I'll, I'll do spooky lighting too. Here we go. Spooky. Oh, I'm in the <laughs> Oh. Okay, I'm going back to it. I'm sorry. I missed my purple. <laughs> Aaron, what about you? Oh, Spook well, us. Sp- oh. Um, besides PT and, like, Silent Hill, Silent Hill definitely being, like, one of my uh, favorite game mm-hmm. franchises and another game that, like, got me into doing concept art. Uh, oh, really? One of my favorite movies is Van Helsing. I know it's not scary, or oh. is it good? But it's so fucking dumb in, like, the best way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just... Van Helsing slaps. I don't care what anybody says. I've watched it at least three times already this year. I'll watch it again. Oh. I haven't seen it, but I feel like that is exactly uh, how most people feel about the Underworld movies. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Well, except minus, like... I would put Van Helsing higher than Underworld. 100%. I I, I haven't even seen it, and I, I will give you that already. I feel like I I would put Van Helsing above Underworld if my crush for Kate Beckinsale wasn't so powerful. Oh shit! Uh, but that takes it to a next level because I yeah. think yeah, like I mean, as like a kid of that generation, like the leather suit vampire Kate Beckinsale is like just like this ridiculous like teenage crush thing. So and then yeah, Underworld kind of wins. Did, you know what? Yeah, I'm fair. on the train now. Uh, Aaron, does Val- Van Helsing have UV bullets? Yeah. No. Is there a lycanthrope vampire? Like, do they really? They don't mess it up. Unfortunately, like not. Yeah. There's a big vampire werewolf fight at the end. Spoilers. Yeah. Okay. 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 Wait, the werewolf kick. designs kind of slap. Okay. Still haven't mm-hmm. seen a better werewolf design since. Mm. I'm gonna oh, you haven't this seen one. Underworld then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, those well, are pretty cool too. Eh. I don't know. Like Not the, the vampire werewolf thing, though. I don't know yeah. why he's blue. That's oh, always yeah. bothered that, me. That one, like, yeah, that's pretty weird. Yeah, I, I mean, did, did Van oh, Helsing use Nine Inch Nails for their trailer? You can't get spookier actually, than actually Nine Inch Nails. Uh, well, yes, there, there they are. Uh, hey, if you're wow. listening to this episode, go ahead and tweet at uh, the four of us and tell us which you prefer, uh, Van Helsing or Underworld. Mm, um, love yes. to hear it. I would, too. Also, this werewolf fucks. Are you the looking at Van the Helsing Van Helsing one? ones? Yes. All right. Van Helsing oh, werewolves oh make me a furry. <laughs> I love them. Okay, that is a statement. <laughs> the, Van hey, we Helsing support them. werewolf. Oh my. See? I, I told you. Okay. See? Okay. okay. They're Am very I wrong? classic. Now, let, now let's look at High Underworld. Tier. Honestly, werewolf. honestly, they're very, very, very video game werewolf. Like it looks that's like. True. The like Castlevania sixty four box that's, art. That's or, why like, I like Saber it so Wolf. much. I don't want like, some like mutant humanoid furless creature that's supposed to be a werewolf. I want yeah. a legitimate werewolf walking around like a human. Yeah, and he's uh, still well, got pecs. You know he's packing. <laughs> exactly. Heat, right. Like yeah. yeah <laughs> I yeah, want yeah, to yeah, slap yeah. my head off. That'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we're gonna yeah. get into this, I, I I will say that Underworld had lichens and lycanthropes, and then they did also have a hybrid that was yeah. different. Um, not as hot, in my opinion. I, I agree. No, no, no. And no one will fight you on that. Uh, unless oh you want to. That's probably one of the the, oh, the reveal please, of the I can't. hybrid. <laughs> it's too much. Please, I can't. It's a lot. I'll tell you that much. I love. Give, giving me the vapors. He's got right, he's well, that's such a good <laughs> snarl. It's like in the snarl, the way the nose curls up. Like, yes. like you, yeah. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. I'll. There you go. I'm about it. Hey, are you hungry? I am too. Uh, And that's why I'm going to use HelloFresh because they are America's number one meal kit. Here's a couple things. Going to the grocery store right now, not the best. I normally don't like it anyways. And when I go, I get the same things over and over again. 
Uh, HelloFresh, they're bringing the food to me. It saves me time. What they're bringing me is delicious and it's varied. Um, here's what's in my fridge waiting for me right now. I've got pork, sausage, spaghetti, bolognese, four beautiful words. I've got crispy buffalo spiced chicken. And right after this, I want to be cooking some firecracker meatballs. It's just fun to say. Um, the best part is I can feel better about it. HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than store-bought grocery-made meals. That feels good. Um, and if you want to feel good and feel full, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash I have notes 80 and use I and use code I have notes 80 to get a total of $80 off across five boxes, including free shipping on your first box. It's a lot of food, a lot of money saved. Go to HelloFresh.com slash I have notes 80 and use code I have notes 80 to get a total of $80 off across five boxes. That's free shipping on your first box. Just do it. It's good. I'm real, some it. real mall me daddy vibes, yeah. Exactly. And that's what this Halloween needs. Tear out my throat. Yeah, mall me daddy. <laughs> Wait, can, reaction. can you, is that going to be the thumbnail, Sam, and the title of the mall show? Mall me daddy? Well, I thought yes. the Cracker Kings was pretty good, too, but mall yeah. me Werewolf's daddy. Werewolves eating my, crackers. I'm I also just see. thinking about, like, you know, whatever, like, the notes Sean will give us eventually. So, like, right now I should probably just say, like, some buzzwords of, like, what's in the media, like, uh... Quick. Oh, what's hot right now? Uh, Presidential what? election. Oh, election. <laughs> yeah. Election. Werewolf election. Who did we vote for? That's, oh, who did we vote for? There we go. And it's actually about the candy bars. I feel like we can get away with that. It's not clickbait. <laughs> Deal with it. I mean, I do, you know, if it's not the thumbnail, I do think Mall Me Daddy could be our second shirt. Um, our first shirt being <laughs> kind of amazing. I have no shirt. Um, you should give them body if you should. Um, but I would wear a mall me daddy shirt. <laughs> me too. I hope to the I would actually get it this time. <laughs> no, Aaron. <laughs> so Sorry. Sis. Someday. Uh, I'm not getting good. Wait, I need, we need to check the post. I need a good <laughs> resolution JPEGs of this fucking sexy werewolf right here. <laughs> time to go watch Van Helsing on Netflix. Last yeah, time I checked. Yeah, do you got the Blu-ray? Do you got the... Oh, I, I Unfortunately, can, I can... do not. Okay, but I can Does rip it something exist? off Netflix. Were they... Did they film movies in high enough quality to be on a Blu-ray in 2004? It looks like the 720 picture is the best I got, and it's not killing it, y'all. Uh, <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. I can't imagine. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, it, I don't know what you look like, but I pr nobody really wants to fuck you in 720p. Like, that's why I have glasses. It's because, like, I'm, you know, but... When did Underworld come out? Uh, around the same time i think 2003 so th was this one of the situations where like one of them beat to the other like beat them to the punch i would imagine so hmm <laughs> sorry i'm doing some very intense googling right now yeah um so let's move away from the mommy spookies. daddy let's move well i don't want to completely move away from mommy daddy we'll uh, please tweet at us if you want that shirt. Um, uh, actually, you know what? Tweet at uh, Eric Bedore if you want that shirt. <laughs> oh, uh, that's a great idea. Uh, if you could just tweet uh, to Eric Bedore, uh, mull me daddy, hashtag I have notes, and then uh, don't let me down. Your that's all I'm saying. Werewolf. I don't ask y'all for a lot, uh, but if you could, if you could, if you could blow him up, uh, I'd appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Let's talk about uh, something new that's on that's on uh, Netflix right now. Um, Aaron, did you want to do you want to talk about this? Oh, there's several things. It's but true. I'll, I'll go down the list. So first off, Netflix recently announced Way of the House Husband anime coming 2021. <gasps> woo 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 woo! Very. Beep, boo. I'm personally excited. Haven't finished reading it yet, but what I have read, I have quite enjoyed. It. Yeah, I, I don't know much about it besides it looks wholesome. Yes. Uh, stealing from Netflix Twitter, Japan's most evil Yakuza makes its cutest house husband follow <laughs> Tatsuya's journey from underworld legend to domestic bliss when the anime adaptation of, I'm not going to pronounce that, uh, hit comedy and manga The Way of the House Husband premieres in 2021. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. It is quite wholesome, quite enjoyable. I, that's what, yeah. that's what I need right now. Yeah. Is this house husband? I would love a like, house husband. Is that <laughs> coming in? Is that like a new thing house for husband? like the anime genre? 
a comedy do you mean the genre or the, yeah, the concept like of a house husband, husband. oh i guess? definitely don't think i've think read so. or seen anything yeah. else like it yeah. yeah you're not wrong i also don't know that there's ever been yeah. like a appointed like housewife show um there there definitely yeah, there probably is. is there is okay i, I, I wouldn't oh. put that past in japan yeah i, 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 I think or, I think maybe, maybe after this one, right? After this one, we can just yeah. start going with house people. Um, wow. Whoa. House people. I'm just, I'm just no, saying, this, it like needs to be... Point, this, is this is true. I think it's like a, like a fucking Civil War anime or something. Like, I don't, I'm not feeling it. House people sounds very, like... Not. Okay, I see what I said now. Yeah, like it might be mm. about you know slavery. Mm-hmm. That's not so how I meant it. About <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's not how I meant it. That not yeah, that's not how I interpreted. Yeah. it, but good point. I I just think anybody can stay at home and take care true. of the house. <laughs> anybody. It's true. I think in terms of the housewife thing, I think it's not exactly housewife, but similar vibes mm. is the um dragon maid. Uh, yeah. Dragon maid series. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's initially made, but also she's totally a housewife. So she is. There, yeah. there's definitely. And also yeah. a dragon. And also a dragon. Wave yeah. the house dragon. I mean, Wave. we haven't seen the rest of this show and I have not read it. So I'm not saying that, that this house husband is a dragon. I'm just saying that I don't know that he's not a dragon. <laughs> and, and although that's not in the marketing Ooh. material, boy, would that be a crazy 12th episode. Yes! Ooh. Working with the mommy daddy. I see. This is the best. This is the most high quality JPEG of this old boy I got. And oh, that is how his arm works. I think that's okay. That's pretty good. I, don't, I think I don't that's okay. Know. It doesn't I feel think great. Good. I it's think okay. uh, we can always have another plan, maybe, Sam. Maybe if we like. I think yeah, that we we'll we post Let's that do. in our Slack channel. Content and, aware. And hey, hey, hey! Uh, yeah. Nobody tell. Uh, Sean Hines this. Uh, we post that on our channel, and if Sean has any notes, nah. That's it. It's mommy daddy. It's mommy daddy. It's mommy daddy. If, he, if, if, if Sean has notes about that thumbnail, that means he doesn't get it. This is true. No. no. If he has notes, he can come on to an episode. Exactly. Okay. That. Everything? Yeah. Everything. Some things don't have notes. <laughs> Pure and that's perfection. this thumbnail. Uh, no, I mean, we'll I was gonna say, if it's never a thumbnail I've made, that's for sure. Hey, he's got a lot of notes. Hey, hey, thumbnails are important. They are. Speaking of thumbnails of other shows that we're looking at, Aaron, what's the next one on the list? Oh, <laughs> nice, good one, good one. Hell yeah. Aaron, the news girl. Here we go. Another Netflix. Netflix announced a bunch of shit recently. A lot of anime. Um, that's true. A lot Very of cool. anime, which I'm thankful for. Thank you, Netflix. Yeah, I, um, I think I'm starting to like anime. <laughs> what, have you guys heard wow. about this stuff called anime? Oh my god. Seems pretty cool. This, uh, isn't, this isn't just Pokemon. Oh no, oh this god. is much more. Much bigger, in fact. Uh, new Godzilla anime series, Godzilla Singular Point. <gasps> uh, created by Studio Orange in Toho. Yes. Or Tuho, mm-hmm. Toho, is that? Yeah. Toho. Um, and our good boy, who, wherever he is, Austin Hardwick. Japan. Has worked on it. Yes, Japan. Yeah. Yay. Yay. So it Yay. Looks, it looks pretty cool. I'm ex- Austin. Also excited. What was his What was his his joke name? Uh, he had so many. Yeah, no, and there's no. some I don't know if I can his share. Joke <laughs> name. I'm um, I'm gonna just like. Yeah, Austin Good Boy Hardwick. Austin, Austin Fact Checker Hardwick. There you go. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> our fact checker. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Studio Orange worked on this. They do really cool. 3D animation. Mm-hmm. Um, they did uh, the uh, Land of Lustrous. Um, they did B Stars. Yeah. Um, they they do very cool things. Um, yeah. And yeah, Austin Austin worked on this. Uh, he told me uh, in confidence. So obviously, I'm gonna share with you all um, that uh, <laughs> uh, he was in charge of uh, Godzilla's No No area. Um, <laughs> they did take it out uh, afterwards. Um, so it's kind of like a cat's butthole situation. Um, he was also in charge of Godzilla's uh, butthole. Uh, Did they leave that they, one in? They, they, they left all but one in. It's up to you to find it. Oh, shit. Where's Waldo? Yeah. Both um, but yeah. One uh, I'm super excited about that just because I love, I love me some Godzilla. I love me. It seems like a very good pick for 3D. Mm-hmm. 
animated can, thing or you know I something that tell, uses a lot of 3D anime? Yeah, I can't mm. tell if it's all 3D or if the t- like the 2D character or the characters are 2D. That that, I mean, well. that would make sense. I haven't yeah. I haven't seen the trailer yet, but that would make sense to me. Yeah. That's what I'm, um, I'm deducting with my yeah. eyes. <laughs> That's yeah, what that is. your um, eyes. My eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> yeah. I, I do love like shows and that take like a, like they, they put the monster in like a different medium or something like that like and they they use that as like a an additional way of like being like oh wow look at this thing it's weird it's on a different frame rate or something like that like mm-hmm. uh, they use that make kind it of feel like, even in, more yeah. out of an or- ordinary yeah yeah they they use their choice of art styles to like highlight something or to make it feel different and like foreign and i always liked how they do that so i think that's one of the best ways you can like blend yeah. 2d 3d is by like not trying to hide the fact that you're using both mediums so it being like look this thing okay so i uh, my confirmation with my eyes is that the (laughs) characters i think are actually hand-drawn 2d or traditional uh Mm -hmm. digital however because it actually said in the middle that this is a collaboration with also studio bones as well Uh, Uh. that would make sense so I think Orange took care of a lot of the mm-hmm. um, monster and or mecha um, components of this uh, show, which is, I am assuming we can always ask Austin Hardwick fact checker. Yeah. <laughs> I will. I will. I've got a confirmation too. Uh, he wasn't cool enough to actually touch Godzilla, so he did not do anything with Godzilla. <laughs> uh, um, extremities or or intremities, <laughs> either. Uh, he did not touch those. Um, intremities. Yeah. Oh, that, goes that, 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 was, that was the butthole. <laughs> oh, wow. I, out of Sam everything we've talked about, left. intremities is, was the problem this for is Sam. Where he, this is where he goes. It's okay. Just the three of us. That's okay. The three of us. Just the three the of us. The three of us. Similar uh, to... Oh, sorry. He, so you go ahead. No, I was actually going to uh, try and uh, get you get you going, Aaron. So go ahead. Uh, well, I... If you haven't heard our other little show, Fan Service, I am a big, big fan of 3D anime. Uh, I think it's pretty neat. Mm-hmm. I like seeing more of it. So I'm very excited that Studio Orange is getting to do more. Uh, Sam mentioned like how um, it's kind of cool that to see the monsters in a d- different medium, just to like yeah. kind of highlight their otherworldliness. Uh, another 3D anime that I also like um, that does this is Ajin, which is on Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that's right. The characters are very like two D cell shaded. It's all three D, but the right. human humanoid humans. Um, are that was all, polygon, right? Yeah, polygon. Um, they're all traditionally cell shaded in appearance, while the uh, IBMs, which are like the monster hum- humanoids in this world, are like way more realistically rendered, or like they're rendered differently. Hmm. So there's definitely like a uh, visual difference between the two and like helps highlight like just how monstrous they are and i think mm. that's pretty cool that's super interesting and it I'd was it, to... totally like intentional as well like um mm-hmm. i think like the directors or art directors like spoke about this in some like behind the scenes stuff. yeah and we've talked about maybe some things that weren't as intentional like oh i don't know like the bear and golden convoy yeah um oh, listen yeah. listen i'm pretty sure I which i guess that... like half intentional yeah, I think um, following that scene, they realized, uh, oops, um, and yes, I think the rest right. of the bears are 2D animated, but it's been oh, a while since I've seen it. Yeah, I need to double check, though. Also, season three is airing right now, and I haven't watched That's it true. I'm so far behind and It's, it's everything. very good. Yeah, it's very okay. good, Carrie. Would recommend. Okay, okay. It's Issa, good. your turn. Oh, um... There is our on our last uh, roundup of Netflix announcements for anime. Um, there is this uh, new anime derived from a Filipino comic actually called Chese that's coming out. Um, this mm. looks like it was announced on actually Netflix Philippines, but it's going to be mm-hmm. available for every Netflix platform mm. globally yeah. and stuff. Um, Aaron noticed this actually. Yeah, because uh, my had... my partner linked this to me, and they're Filipino, yeah. so I was like, "Ooh, yes. I would." Yes, I'm very interested. In That's cool. What this is? The um, ooh, so I've never heard of it though. I, I looked into it a little bit before this, but I'm not familiar with the source material at all. I thought just maybe uh, trees was misspelled. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I'm pretty sure it's Chesse. I'm looking I believe. for the summary. Uh, cause there was a summary f- somewhere, um, 
Oh, here. So when the uh, according to Netflix, when the cops are stumped, Ale Alexandra Chese is there to protect Manila from the threats of the supernatural kind, based on the award-winning Filipino comic. Um, it's a horror anime, so very spooky. Yes. Horror slash crime, according to Wikipedia. Yeah. Uh, so is this it? Is um, Go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna. So it's it's a, a Filipino comic. Um, where's the production taking place? Is it in the Philippines as well, or is it like a Japanese animated thing? Or that I am not quite sure. I think hmm. once they have a Wikipedia page, they'll be able to like sure. um, put in all the specific details. What my assumption is based on everything is that it could be a cross between like um, some overseas studios. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I have an answer. <gasps> Sorry, Isa. Can see your thought. Go for it. No, okay. go ahead. Uh, let's see. This adaptation is. Uh, executively produced by Filipino American director Jay oh. Olivia, and produced by Jaka Jakarta. Jaka, I don't know how to say this. J A K A R T A. Oh, Jakarta. Jakarta. There you go. Mm -hmm. Um, and Singapore-based studio Base Entertainment. Shanti Harman, Har Harman, oh, okay. and Tanya Yusun. Hmm. So I'm not familiar with sounds... any of those people or studios, but there you go. Yeah. Just the brief description makes me want to like watch this because it's like trust me, it's a weird winning uh, comic with a K. Well, it throws me off. A series that follows <laughs> Detective Alexandra Tresses, who takes on a criminal underworld in a fictional Manila. Okay, and then they do where mythical creatures live hiding amid, amid humans. I had no idea this Whoa. also had, like, mythical creatures. That, like, sounds like... I was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, maybe we'll get a little Ghost in the Shelly vibes, and then they throw in, in some fucking, Shelly. like... Yeah, Ghost some in the Shelly's, right? Shit. Yeah, and then they threw in, you know, a little bit of mythical creatures, and I was back in. Like, yeah, that sounds cool. What, uh... uh Sam, what's your favorite mythical creature? Oh, God, and why is that's it werewolf? a tough one. <laughs> And why is it I mean, sexy? Mommy daddy, yeah. Why but... is it mommy daddy? <laughs> I, th I kind of am leaning a little bit manticore. Like, Ooh. I, I like the, I like the mashup, right? Like, and I it think almost that, feels that like cheating. speaks like, huh? It almost feels like cheating. You're getting a lot well, out of one. I got one. Well, you do, but like, I think. The manticore is like the mm. like the collaborative crossover of beasts. <laughs> And the cinematic like, universe of animals. I, I well, that that's one reason like I like shoes is because you can get like these things you wouldn't see. Ma well, I'm serious. Like, like no, it's good. Like, no, 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 I'm with like, you. You see fucking Boba Fett there chilling. Like these are dope, wow. dude. Like Whoa. they're fucking lit. Like I love shoes that bring things that like from different cultures that are like like I have fucking PlayStation shoes, waffle and chicken shoes. Like get the fuck out of here. Like. I great. love collaborative processes that bring two things I love together. Mm -hmm. And it's like the Manticore kind of does that as like a big old nasty man. So, yeah. Like Dragon Lion Snake Boy? Come on. Those are all sweet. Yeah. Th this, whole, this entire topic has become uh, everything we're talking about for the rest of this episode. Aaron, favorite mythical creature? Do I have to say it again? Fucking werewolves. Hell yeah. <laughs> Specifically, fucking werewolves. Fucking fucking. Yeah, yeah there we go. Oh, <laughs> Jackman werewolf. Uh, more, like huge oh. more like Jackman. huge jack me off. Oh, okay, wow, both of you. I, I can't believe we just witnessed I the voice from Cracker Town. <laughs> The yeah, boys of Cracker Town roll. No, no. We are progressive though, because it's just two kings. So that is me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. True. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. The two I kings. want you. To, I want you to. I want you to. To take what you would probably immediately think, the the kings of Cracker Town are like, and take away a lot of some of the more, uh, not good and problematic things of it. Because Sam and I are here to help. Yeah. 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 We want to be positive. Just two good boys. We we want our legacy to 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 live on. In a good way. Isa, uh, help me. What's your favorite mythical creature? Fuck. <laughs> I don't think about this a lot. Hmm. I, I, I think best. now is the time. We need to we need to stop and, and smell the roses. And we, we need to think about, about some things like this. Favorite mythical creature. I need like a Wikipedia Do list. Do we need to start spitballing? Okay, uh, spitball got, with me. We've got some I mean, unicorns. Just... Yeah, We've got yeah. dragons, dragons, vampires, yep. werewolves, uh, a, a werewolves? griffin, non-problematic white men. 
Spooky. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, those aren't my favorite. Very <laughs> mythical. Like, well, they're they're <laughs> mythical. Yeah. Oh, true, 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 true. Yeah. They don't exist. Maybe maybe one day. Uh, I wish Pokemon counted. Ooh. Ogres. Ogres. I do have it's mythical, one. Right? Ooh, it's it's a it's such a serious answer. Um, phoenixes. Yeah. Ooh, that's Ooh. a cool yeah. answer. Yeah. It's a. Uh, I don't know. I just like them. Uh, <laughs> I don't I don't draw them, but I just like them. I just think they're neat. I just think they're neat. Thanks, Aaron. You got there me. You go. uh, I don't. I don't believe in mythical creatures. So. I don't. Oh, so you don't have a favorite? Oh, okay. I don't think of these wow. childish things. <laughs> uh, no, probably like a. Like a like a woodland fairy sprite or something. Ooh, that's surprisingly mm. wholesome. You know, just yeah, just <laughs> they're just sexy. gonna come by and they're gonna make your day better somehow. Like they're gonna help you out. Um, probably pretty positive. That sounds nice. That does sound nice. <laughs> that sounds nice. Um, so th- this we have this this next thing on our topic sheet. I was curious who put that there and who's clicked on the link. Ooh, ooh, is it the Snyder Cut thing? Yeah. Okay, I put that there. Has anybody else clicked on it? If you haven't, I'm don't. I'm now yet. clicking it. Don't no, don't click it. Don't wait. Close don't it. Too close late. it. Oh, too late. I'm, I can't read. Don't worry. Close it, Sam. Don't look <laughs> at it. Sure I have not looked at it yet. Okay, uh, Isa. I like you. If you could describe kind of what's going on about it, and then maybe we can do a little game of guessing. Okay, uh, we're talking about the Snyder Cut, and we are talking about in this in this little thing, the title of the picture caption is Hollywood Math. Oh no. Mm. I'm bad at math. So is this the price of the movie, or is this the price of how much we're gonna have to pay to watch it? <laughs> um, it is the price of the. Mm, it is the price of the movie, not how much you're gonna pay to watch it. Okay. Mm. So how much it took to make it? Or how much it will take? Uh, will take. Wait, wow. this yeah. thing doesn't exist. I'm confused. Not. I, they're not they're yet. in the middle of it. They're in oh, the middle. Shit. You can't rush art, Aaron. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm not, I know I I'm ask not... you to all of the time. <laughs> Wait. I, I feel like I just want to do a little tease of that because okay. um, I, I wish uh, I, I sent this to Jordan Swears. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, who's still around, but also in memory, Jordan Swears. Wherever and he is. We, wherever he is, uh, we remember him. And he went, oh, my God. And I go, it, it's about, right. he goes, I, I will rip Snyder a new one. <laughs> wow. But I, it's, a, like, it's a thing. I kind of get the Snyder cut. Everybody wants it. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Do we? I feel, well, okay. Enough people on the internet <laughs> okay. were mad that they, like, I mean. I can understand wanting to see it. Yeah. But also, it's weird that it's taking so long for them to, like, get the Snyder... It, it, like, being like, release the Snyder Cut makes me think, like, y'all already got it. He yeah, already cut I, this shit. But now the way they're I'm making confused. it seem is, like, now Snyder's came back in and he's gonna do his own cut of this shit. Like, it seems like there's been, you know, like, a Indiana Jones fast one on us, right? But... Well, the, the impression the, I always got was, like, he had taken it a certain, like... He'd, he'd gone so far with it and in a certain direction. And then when he had to step back for, I believe, some family reasons. Yes. It got oh, taken okay. in a different direction. Yeah. yeah. And now he's like, hey, I had this original edit. So now let's spend extra money to get more pickup shots and do all of the oh, effects okay. on the shots okay. that y'all didn't use in your cut. And now I'll make the real movie. And I'm okay. going to guess it's going to cost 400000 no, $400 million. That's my guess. Okay. Okay. You, we again? have any more guesses from from what this uh, for a, from what this um? I'm pulling that out of my butt. Do for they, a cut, just for like si- an editing cut with new VFX. I guess so. I'm just assuming it's going to be Shit. terribly expensive. Supposed to. I would have gone like five million. Mm. Oh God, that's quite the range. That's. I mean, you got to throw, like, you just got to throw Snyder, like, a huge stack just to do this shit. That's nothing. Five million's nothing. Yeah, that's, like, chump change. Nothing. Chump change. Yeah. I'm going to say, you... my guess, wait, Carrie, what did you say? You I said, said 400 million. 400? Shit. 400. 400 is, like, we get into reshoots. I don't yes. think that's ever going to be it. I think it's going to be, like, if there's reshoots, yeah, I'm there with you, but... 
I don't think there's any reshoots. So I think it's just VFX in editing, and that's going to be the five mark. I'm going to say a hundred million. Mm. Okay. Okay. A little less. Uh, so a little bit more than Sam, though. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, it's ninety-five I, million dollars more, but. I uh, so I'll read this excerpt. Um, okay. Uh, I think it's like on Cine Snark. I'm looking for the the art the link for the art if there's like uh for the article for this one. So it, I think it's a kind of it's Onion esque, but uh, mm, okay. editorial. I would say editor. This seems like a more editorial take on um okay. actual news in terms of Hollywood budgets and like media and stuff. So the excerpt reads, Snyder Cut, due on HBO Max X series, currently undergoing additional photography. Oh. oh, snap. What was once supposed to be 20 to $30 million completion of already shot footage has turned into a potentially $70 million boondoggle for oh, HBO shit. Max. So they Aaron, dropped boondoggle? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so, uh, a a cor- apparently on the Recode Media podcast, um, they called it wildly expensive. And, and basically, like the quote is here, I'll just say I wish it was $30 million and stop there. It's an enormous undertaking and very wow. complex. Yeah. So it's like, oh, there's more. Um, wow. w- which is, which is why Jordan Sweels very, very f- felt so strongly about well, it. Well, it's turning into a series now, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say, how long is this movie? Is it? Yeah, that's I, I um, that's what uh the uh, Mike was saying in the chat. It's it's gonna be a, a oh. short series now, <gasps> a limited series. Mm, okay, that would make sense. Which which makes more sense to me because I, I did I did at one point hear that it was gonna be like four hours long or something like that, and it's like oh I guess they'll just like split it up into four. I ain't got enough time for that. Yeah, <laughs> one one hour. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, if it works, Man. cool. I hope after it's all of this, sure. it's gonna be good. Just for the Snyder Cut fans out there. <laughs> the Snyder Cut fans. Yeah. Snyder wow, Prince. Zack Snyder's Justice League has its own Wikipedia page now. Is there anything on it? There's a lot on it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's been talked about for ages, I feel like. like it has, yeah. Here's, I, here's I think, the, the real where we get in. Like, this seems okay. egregious and fucking ridiculous, right? But on the other hand, the people who want it are very passionate about it. Mm. Yep. Where does your passion lie where you want, like, the Snyder Cut of another movie? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start us off here. Ooh. I want the, the, the darker, grittier Snyder Cut of the popular 80s film Twins, which is a, just <laughs> a favorite of mine. I fucking love Twins, and I feel like the Snyder Cut can really bring this thing to the next level, oh especially with triplets on the horizon. It, it just, yeah, That's I think amazing. we need it. And it could, it could have the same cast. Yeah. Well, that, well, the Snyder Cut, of, I mean, it would have to have the same cast, right? Yeah. But. Now, now, okay, so yeah, we, we're, we're talking about going in and not reshooting this movie, but adjusting and maybe reshooting select scenes. Hmm. Wow. I, I mean, could see that. It's going to be hard to reshoot with them. <laughs> hey, CG's so, come a long way. This is true. I guess, yeah. You, you, we all saw <laughs> the highlights of The Irishman. Yeah. But, and that was worth it. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, a, all three hours a, of my life. What would be a good movie for a Snyder Cut? Hmm. Mm. Um, That's a good question. If, if I'm allowed to expand it to a series uh, and yeah. animated and really just ignore the, the prompt the given Snyder whatsoever, uh, it would be uh, Rugrats all, all grown up. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, because Ooh, I feel like there are so good... many other topics that they could have gotten to. It's true. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Angelica starts doing fucking smack. Like, let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. Tommy let's discovers masturbation. Oh, no. Yes. Like, we could have tackled a lot of fucking problems that Doug never taught us how to deal with, right? Like, he was yeah. in high school, but his biggest fucking problem was like, mm, does Patty like me? Like, no, there's bigger issues in fucking high school than yeah, Patty. Her last, her last name is Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. Move the fuck on. Yeah, gross, dude. Like, you can buy love. You can't, but that's one of the lessons they'll learn. No, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'd kind of argue you could. But I mean, yeah. we're hey, we're, sure. we're 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 literally writing an episode right now. <laughs> so I'm just I'm just saying, you know, taking taking 
a cast of characters the kids grew up with and then really showing them what can happen. Yeah, That's, all I'm That's my answer. That's so my answer. it would be it would be animated, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or live Cash action if you wanted to. Hey, you know. What are you Hey, it's up to Zack Snyder. <laughs> I mean, what if he just animated a few scenes instead of reshooting? He was just like, all right, like, which I feel like you could do really well. Like, uh, the, like, Aaron, or Karen Ichi bits and, like, Kill Bill, I think. I was about to say, yeah. The, the assassin. Yeah. Like, I feel like if you kind of use that, you could animate some new scenes and be like, all right, we need a little information on this. Let's just slam in a fucking little five-minute anime vignette. Yeah. That just redub good. the original pieces. Ooh. I mean... Um, have you guys seen the uh, SNL skit where they did a parody of the Joker trailer, but they did it with uh, Oscar the Grouch? Right? Oscar the Grouch no. from amazing. Sesame no. Street. Okay, yeah. I will send this Full to you guys. Full feature. It was, it is one of the best things because the guy that they casted for Oscar the Grouch was um, uh, the. Fuck. The, the policeman cop, from Stranger the Things. The sheriff yeah. policeman from Stranger Things. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> it is so good. Sometimes, oh, it's Halloween. I'll watch it. <laughs> so, so It's a spooky thing. That that concept can then be handed over to Mr. Snyder. S- Snyder uh, cut of Sesame Street. <laughs> yeah. It's a Snyder cut Snyder of Joker Street. with some heavy edits. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, actually, I did. Yeah, no, he's going to work on that, but he's going to... They're gonna okay, so they're gonna they're gonna Snyder cut Joker, uh, but oh. replace it with the the Joker from Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh, that's a nice movie. Yeah, uh, with um the, uh, the fucking Snyder cut. <laughs> uh, does that uh, work? Yeah, no, I think jokes? it works pretty well. Thir- Thirty seconds to Snyder. <laughs> okay, all right. I I like that band a lot. I don't I don't. Know. I was trying okay. to so hard to think of it. I was like, for a second, for some reason, I was like, "Drops of Jupiter." No, that's not it. Like, no, that's not definitely. it. Jupiter ascending. No, that's a movie. That's a movie. Um, Aaron, Aaron, Ooh, what Snyder would you cut s- of Jupiter ascending. What would you Snyderize? Oh no, Snyderize. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, call me predictable. Maybe just an HD re-release of Van Helsing. I need mm. those werewolves <laughs> in HD. But they're all hanging dong, right? Oh, it's yeah, just definitely. The, they just edited it. That's why it's so... It's that's like a Snyder cut. Kid, but, oh, yeah. oh, it just the, has the penises. Oh, no. They've got the... Yeah, yeah. They've got... Yeah, they've got the, the assets from Watchmen. <laughs> Is the Snyder yeah, cut yeah. just circumcision? <laughs> I'm done. I mean... It's a... Uh... That broke you, so... Okay, hey, is it, idea. How much more of the show do we have to record? I think that might have been it. I think that might. Have, I think I might have killed it. <laughs> Nothing I think else I might have killed it. it. Yeah. Uh, thank yeah. you all we so can, much. We can cut it there. Yeah, uh, we'll fade out. I'm recording this for uh, for posterity's sake, but we're just gonna cut out there. Uh, thank you all so much <laughs> for watching, listening to I Have Notes. Uh, we uh, we love talking to you. We love talking to each other about just dumb shit like uh, Zack Snyder circumcising. <laughs> people and things oh, it's uh, menacing. we uh no it's all it's all on the up and up uh you know if, uh, ooh, Sorry, that's a sad, he, you you better hope lightning doesn't strike when he's doing that because <laughs> no. hands go everywhere um we would love it if you would uh share the show with any friends you have if you're they're like hey they they made a but like they're into werewolves now come check this podcast out uh, we we welcome your your well, werewolf friends uh, and lovers of of such things. Uh, but yeah, that'd be great. Uh, we will um, just as a heads up, we are pre-recording our next episode. Um, but unless anything crazy happens, you won't know the difference. Spooky. Um, and with that, we will see you next week. Uh, and uh, Sam, go ahead and uh, uh, give us our, our our outro we do every week. Give us, give uh, us a sign off. Go ahead. You want to wait, sir? Do you want the classic sign off or a new sign off? No, you know the that classic. I have notes sign off that we say every week. Catchphrase. Every week. Um, I, I got you. N- notes. It's you're stinky. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>